Hello, I'm the Lummy Dragon, and this is Let's Play Bingo for the RCA Studio 2. Well, kind of. There's a bit more to it than that. As you can see, my screen is blue instead of black, but we will get into that very soon. Now, I'm not sure where to begin with this story um, of the Bingo, because the story is the most interesting part of the game, rather than the actual game itself. Now, I'm going to try and be as accurate as possible, but there's a lot of misinformation out there, and some of it is just assumptions as well, from people who have pieced together bits of history and even a couple of interviews from people in RCA Studio 2, because there's been a, on the Atari Age forums there's been quite a big discussion in past months of the Studio 2. So, well, the initial story, I suppose, is the RCA Studio 2 bingo. It, that was released in America. Now, for many years there was only 10 games known. I, I think it was 10 from quick memory. And those were the, the games that were just known about. Then one day, I believe it was in the early 2000s at a gaming convention, a man with his collection of games you know, had them on display. And one of those games was Bingo for the RCA Studio 2. And this got a lot of people's attention that knew about the system because it was a game that was not known about before. And apparently it came with bingo cards and bingo chips. And it was part of the TV Casino series. And it had all the proper coloured box and everything. And apparently the man found it in what Americans call mom and pop stores. A mom and pop store. Uh, I believe so. And he was just amongst a bunch of other, other RCA Studio stuff, and he just got lucky. However, since this gaming convention, he's vanished, and so has his, his copy of the game. And sadly, no one um, took any photos of it. And so it became a bit of an urban legend. Did the game exist, or was it just made up? However, the people who saw it were reliable people, apparently. However, there were actually clones of the RCA Studio 2. The clones released in Europe and Australia and Japan. Now, on the clone systems they actually had additional games. They had Star Wars, Pinball, Concentration Match, and they also had Bingo. Hmm, it's very interesting. That, and also these clone systems were slightly upgraded Studio 2's they had some basic colour and some very basic sound. Now what seems to have happened is RCA Studio no the RCA in the background were developing a Studio 3. And the Studio 3 was essentially an upgraded Studio 2. But at some point the people in charge of RCA decided to just abandon the game console market altogether and what the assumption is they just sold a license of the RCA Studio 3 abroad to other people and the Studio 3 became these clone games no, these clone systems that were released abroad so technically they're not clone systems as such because they actually are the upgraded Studio 2 or the Studio 3 system but they all do play the box standard Studio 2 games as well because it, it's just an upgrade. It's a bit like a Wii and a GameCube. The Wii is just an upgraded GameCube. I hope that's correct. Anyway, um, so that is what I'm actually playing. Well, an emulator. I'm playing it on MR02, by the way, because it's got the most accurate sound. Because uh, MES doesn't do the sound properly for the, uh, the clone systems. And this game has only been recently dumped as well. So, well, we're about to surprise you all with the amazing intensiveness of this game. Also, I'm not actually sure if the European clone bingo came with any accessories. And I would, well, I would assume it would have, but it wouldn't surprise me if it didn't. Because the game is just kind of meaningless without any official cards, because otherwise you have to make up your own cards. Well, let's show you. 
Now, there are two modes of operation. It's either either it will manually call out numbers, or you have, can make it do it automatically. So, I'm just going to do it manually, it's quicker. So there you go, the first number is 39. And this, oh yeah, one thing I will say is the colour of the, um, the emulator isn't perfect. I've tried to adjust it from what my research is of the colours of the system. But as the system is so primitive, it doesn't really matter what the colours are. This is just to show what bingo actually is. So anyway, the first number is 39. I'm not sure if the N represents anything. Well, it's just that it spells out bingo, but because you just get that, all the letters of the word bingo appearing eventually, but I'm not sure if they actually were designed for anything. So next number f 4, next number 20, next number 61. You see, this is really riveting. I'm sure I'll be on tenterhooks if I had my real bingo card here. You can keep going on and on and on and on. And I'm not going to show you button 2 in action because, well, there's no difference between me just doing it manually and you watching it do itself automatically, except automatically it's much, much slower. Anyway, so eventually someone's going to go, well, I've got a bingo. So what do you do then is you stop the game. You stop the game by pressing 0 and the thing stops flashing at the bottom. And now you press free. Free verifies the numbers. So, let's say I had at 39. Yeah, I'm okay there. So that definitely appeared. And I also have 0, 4. No, I put 0, 5 by mistake. Mistake, but there you go. That's what happens if you get a no. So, we have to re read it again. Because I was daft and I pressed the wrong number. Anyway, let's do it again. Let's, uh, 39. Yes, that's okay. Zero, 04. Yeah, that's okay this time. Now, 20. Yeah, we're well, okay. We only need two more to get a bingo. Bingo. Oh, no, I did the wrong thing there. Uh, 14. I can... No, I... Oh. I'm trying to do this for the... I should have marked the correct numbers on the keyboard. Uh, okay, let's do it again. That's uh, 39. 04, yes. 20, yes. Uh, 26, yes. And... 32. So there we go. There you go, I got five numbers and they were all my bingo. So now I just press zero on the other keyboard and it will tell me my score and it will do something amazing. Yes, I got 121 points and yes, it played bingo was his name-o. I'm not actually sure of the, actual, the correct name of that song. But that uh, so surprised me hearing that, especially on the Studio 2, an actual piece of music. And it appears to be, this appears to be the only game on the entire system that plays any music at all. I've tried out the other clone um, systems games, and none of them play music. However, Pinball was, I've tried Pinball, and that was definitely the most colourful of the whole um, range of games. And actually, if you press number four, press four, you can play the song as many times as you want. See, I'm, I'm really living it up here. And that is Bingo for the Studio 2, or Bingo for the Victory MPT-02, or Bingo for the Sheen M1200, or Bingo for the Mustang 9016, and all the other clone systems. And if you did pl play this on a Studio 2, a normal Studio 2, American one, it would just be in black and white, and if you did the song it would just bleep um, the, the tune, but in a monotonic, uh, non-musical sense. And you, if you didn't know what the tune was, you would not be able to tell what on earth it was bleeping. So, 
I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned something. And I'll see you all soon in another game. Bye!